All right, so finally back from Napa for like the second time. I got the right plugs. See, these are what I'm running. It's a colder plug than the TR6, and it's a projected style plug. These were recommended by Nate, and they already come pre-gapped. See, they got the slit in the middle. Um, they didn't have any of the HD belts. The guy was telling me that it was telling him he had them in stock at the other places, but every time he ordered it, they just never came. So luckily I had the regular one. So whatever one fits, I'll order a nice one. All right, let's see how much fuel I'm working with. Those E85 starts suck. They're not much be bad. I could almost just let this thing idle off. <laughs> we'll see what happens. it over into the shade to do this. See what we got. Oh no, it looks like he has a hidden regulator on this, possibly. What the heck? All right, so this isn't what I was expecting. Both lines for the deadhead type system run down here, down there. <laughs> and I'm not about to jack this thing up. <sighs> But yeah, man, this thing looks nice under here. Anyways, I'm just going to start this thing up and let it idle for a while. Whatever. It's the only thing I can really do. Then I'll do the spark plugs last. That's the easy part. And the belt. I'm going for a drive. Car's just got a little bit too much fuel to let it idle out. Oh, Seatbelt. Seat yeah, yeah, yeah. to get the fuel out this way, right? Usually this thing's eating fuel and now when I want the fuel to go away it's like, it feels like it's taking forever. Two cops just went by me down the other way so now I'm afraid if I loop around that straightaway street and like go for a little test gun down the road it's they're gonna be there I'm gonna time it like that I'm trying to keep the rpms kind of higher I wasn't trying to gun it today because I really want to be excited about the new tune
between the quarter tank and empty. If I did one more loop around town, <laughs> it would be empty. But I don't know how accurate the fuel gauge is in here, so I really don't want to break down. Run out of gas. there. Yeah, I should get this from the exhaust. Sorry about the forgetting filming stuff. I just gotta keep it moving. If you're doing belt changes, I always disconnect the battery and the tray. It just, it, it's more room you can get down here if you need to loop the belt on. I already loosened the bolts up there, so I'm just gonna drop the belt pulley off. And Would it be nice getting away with this belt? Yeah, I mean, it came off pretty easy. These boys don't know what tight belts are. I was able to use the belt for the two nine for the three one now it's tight or actually i mean yeah it's pretty tight now just need to gap the plugs so the new ones gotta find my plug gapper somewhere so i was able to get a socket in here and loosen it but i couldn't get the uh thing off without removing the throttle body think right now and I sliced my finger open nice it's like a geyser of blood right. for anyone wondering like this intake is massive I'm sure the crusher ones still have an edge but these are huge all right so passenger side's done I would do the harder side first sweating crazy Putting this back on, and yeah, all back to normal. New pulleys on, new plugs are in, everything is back together, plugged in. Should be ready to go. gonna put it away until it's ready when it's ready to leave because I'm like way down there now <laughs> 